it's me. Welcome to another edition of the Wheelie Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life. Life is Wrestling. Now today, I have someone that I've always wanted to interview on the show. Please welcome Jimmy King to the show. Hey, yeah! Cuba! Hey. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I thought I was excited. <laughs> I love wrestling, and I love Cuba. This, this is awesome. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, but I, I'm supposed to ask questions. But anyway, let's start. You've been wrestling for a long time, man, and you've been doing it at a high level, but you were not always known as Jimmy King. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. When I first started, I was Jim Fury. Jim Fury. And what year was this like? How about I started training in 95, late 1995, and uh, actually had my first match in 96. And what? Uh, who trained you? Like, what school did you go uh, to? Ron Hutchinson, actually. Uh, the same trainer that trained Edge and Christian and... Trish Stratus, people like that. Many lots, lots yeah. of people. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. for sure. So who was your first match again in 1996? First match I was in was against a gentleman named uh, Abdul Mustafa. Sheikh Abdul Mustafa. Guy about 6'6", six, six, uh, almost 400 pounds. Um, we had, uh, it was called the Toy Fight Double Trouble. And it was actually to, to get kids, uh, underprivileged kids toys. Oh, like you didn't um, hit each other with the toys? It was, no, no, it was, it was just, that's toys. what the whole show was about. So, oh, and like a toy drop. Yeah, a toy drop. So we actually had a, a match on there, um, but first we had a battle royal. There was other matches, we had a battle royal, and the last two in the battle royal had a match at the end. And it was me and him, and she could boom Mustafa, and I won by disqualification because he threw powder on us. Wow! So on his first show, 21 years ago, he, he was doing good right from the start. So then, uh, like I know you wrestled for a while as Jim Fury, and then you took some time off, I believe? Or? Yeah, I was off for about 11 years, uh, and I just, I missed it so much, I had to come back. Like and, unfinished business too, yeah. like you knew you hadn't given all you could give. Right? Yeah, and I just, it was like a second chance, and I've been in it now for about six years again, and uh, yeah, it's. I mean, I'm getting getting older, but you know, it's it's going. I've yeah. got a lot of great memories and yeah, I guess it was had a lot of great matches. Dude, yeah, and you don't look old out there. I mean, quite. You're in better shape than some of these twenty year olds. Forty four. So when you did come back in like around 2011, uh, were you Jim Fury again, or you just, I just went with Jimmy King. Jim, that was my view, right? So I just thought, no more Jim Fury, Jimmy King. Started over. Yeah, and you wrestled with a lot of promotions and you won a lot of titles. The one thing I remember the most about you is the tag team. The modern day warrior, you and Derek Platinum, because that's when I first ran into and met you. And you guys had a lot of success. And then there was another modern day warrior, you and Joey Allen. Although I think the first version was a little bit different because you can never you can never duplicate something so great. No. Although you guys had a lot of success with the second version of Modern Day Warriors. Yeah. Um the first version, myself and Derek Platinum actually wrote the, the record for the longest way by the champions. Uh, in PWA or PWA? Well, yeah, the other one. And, and also um, most successful title defenses in the world. That's another thing. We did the first time we did the Air Cup. It was the oh, first yeah. time the PWA champions had ever been involved in it. It's the first time the PWA fight team titles were put up in the grass. And we beat, we beat the uh, Barbarians. We beat the Flatliners. Two and great teams right there. And then the Young Bucks in the final to win. And everybody knows the Young Bucks. This man right here has a win over them. So what, um, I know Joey Allen just, he turned his back on you. Is that why you got into singles or did you just feel like you had proved everything in the tag team? Why didn't you get another partner in the tag team? Why did you go to it just, it just felt like at this stage in the game, I needed another chapter yeah, in my life and I thought, you know what, I haven't won that big one yet. I mean, a few years ago, during an Open Streets event, I beat Joey Allen for the title of the PWA Championship. Uh, but then the uh, decision was overturned and felt yeah, yeah. back to it. Uh, so you held it freely with an asterisk. I, yes, and, and I ended his over 500 day reign uh, as champion. But again, the belt was given back, and, and I just I thought about that after. Me and him went at it, and uh, I thought that's where my focus is. So even after like 20 years of being in wrestling, it seems to me like you're still driven. You still have goals. There's still more that you would like to accomplish. Yeah, it's 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 the PWA titles on the line uh, on my mind, and right now I'm the Ontario champion. Uh, I mean. Couldn't ask for any more, you know. Uh, like I said, I've had great matches, so I'm just looking forward to some more great matches. Oh, just, yeah. and, uh, and after uh, that, I haven't thought past that. <laughs> yeah, no, and like, 
if uh, like for me, I really look up to you because there's a lot of people like that start out in business and pay their dues until this day. You drive everywhere. You help set up the rings. Like you have not changed your mentality. So, what kind of advice do you have to those young guys? Like how to do it your way and get in good graces with people. Well, I mean, you gotta remember you're part of a family, right? So you have to pull your weight like everybody else. So you know, helping set up the ring, helping tear it down, uh, helping people in the ring. You know, helping them learn, helping them get better. Um, you know, listening to them as well as your own ideas, things like that. Um, you know, just doing what you can to make everything better. That's, I mean, and, you know, and then it's, it's just, um, if you're doing that, you're going to get in the good books with a lot of people, and your career can go far. People see that. I noticed that right away when I met you. And also, like, in my opinion, maybe you disagree, but I feel you can never learn everything wrestling. You're always getting better. And I've seen you to this day still participate in seminars. Like, you're never, like, a know-it-all. You're always, like, know that there's more out there. No, they're always, you, you never learn, you know, you never learn as well. Every day, and that's it. You're always learning. Every day you're learning against, every time you step in the ring with someone different, you're learning something new. And even if you step into that person, or step into the ring with that person several times, you keep learning something new exactly. as you go and that's the thing you, you never stop learning it's like anything right you get good at it you always keep your mind open right and i agree and like i know when you're out in, or you're out in the match competing you're a very fierce competitor but i mean a lot of people have said this to me and i believe it's true are you the nicest guy in wrestling <laughs> like when you're not in the ring well i'd like to think i am i mean when i started training um Everybody called me Smiling Jim because I always had a big smile on my face and I was always willing to let people, you know, try new moves or whatever and I'm just always willing to learn. But outside the ring, I'd like to think I'm a great guy or at least a nice guy. And, um, it's I'm unanimous. Willing, Everyone knows. Always willing to help, you know, and you're always willing to give advice and, and you know, I'm not trying to be a know it all, but you know. But you do want to know as much as you can. Right, and I'm trying to help other people too, you know, to learn and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, and so like if you ever run into this guy in the locker room or get a chance to wrestle him, pick this guy's brain. He's been around, he, he may not not look old, but I mean he's old in wrestling years and he has a lot of advice to give. I know personally he's helped me a lot and um, I just want to say like I know you came back six years ago. You Obviously you don't regret it. You're glad you came back, aren't you? I, I had to. There, there was no advantage or bucks one day I just said, you know what? Um, I got really out of shape, I got, I got to get back into this, I, I need another chance, right? Because I, it was like you said, it was unfinished, unfinished business, and it was, yeah, when I stopped doing it several years ago, I just felt all those years I regretted stopping, right? Because I, knowing where I trained and who I trained with, and the people I trained with, because I was a legend, like Jim Christian, yeah, legends. right before they became famous, um, I, who knows where I would have been? Because you know, I, I, it was WWE, and that's what made up my mind. And I thought, I'm not going to go to the WWE now, but it's. I can't, have to, you can't go to the grave knowing you didn't get it. Exactly, and that's the thing. Yeah, I, I, had, to, I had to take another chance. And I also noticed, like, following you on social media, you're very like disciplined with your working out and dieting and stuff like that. Do you ever give yourself a cheat meal? or? Oh, I, you know, honestly, I. Yeah, yeah. Been on that so often and then gained some weight and everything, but it does not show. The, what the, is this? The thing, <laughs> the thing is, is me, my age, and I've always been yeah, we have healthy. And uh, seeing what's happening with family members and things, yeah, it's really like that. So it's just one of those things. Of being my age, mm -hmm. if I let it go, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna age it. Yeah, you want to live a good, long life. Yeah. And so I'm so honored to have Jimmy King on the show. Remember, on the Willow Show, like or you get a leg drop, comment or you get a clothesline, subscribe or you get a suplex. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. It's an honor. No, no, it's all mine. It's a pleasure. It's all mine. Take care, guys. <laughs>